Look at the colour of my teeth. <laughs> my girl. She must think I am fifty English pig. Oh, than Miss Minaj. Hi, good morning. Happy Monday. My hair smells absolutely delicious. Wow. Um, stop. The earmuffs that I wanted to go and get from Urban are out of stock. Very upsetting because they were going to complete my outfits. Well, I just have to take them massive, embarrassing ones. I don't know. I do wish that I didn't use the shine drops because they just like it's it's a great idea having drops, but it, the pinks are just too red tinted for me. I don't like the red tint. I don't. Uh, anyway, it still looks nice. What am I gonna do now? I need to get up, post all my orders. I need to return PLT. I need to return Amazon. I need to send off Vinted, and then I need to go for my Botox appointment. And then I'm coming back and I'm having a spray tan in the house. Scary. Went to post all my parcels and um, they've still got no labels at the every shop. So that's just great. That's really just great. Um, Botox lady's cancelled. She's not well, bless her. So that's fine. I mean, it means I've got more time in the day to do things, but it also means I didn't need to get up as early. But it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Still got the spray. As long as we've got the spray tan, that is all that is needed. Are we ready? Who wants to see their new jumper that their mummy got them from TK Maxx? I love it. He hates jumpers, I'm sorry, but you just look so sweet. Right, well I've got a ray pack now into this one because apparently this is not a cabin bag. This is ugly. What am I gonna fit into that? With you on your phone, I don't mind. No, naked? <laughs> we are all done. My face is so dark. Oh, fucking dark. I asked for the darkest one, of course. And it's going to develop further, of course, as we know, girlies. Um, oh, my God. <laughs> what will I? Like? Literally blonde hairline as well. Oh, this camera's making it not look good, but it does look good. It's really convenient as well. I wish I could get one of them every week. How easy would that be? She was so nice as well. I was worried. I was worried. I was worried. I was worried. But she was really nice. I was there starting naked. She was like, and just bend over for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was good. Good, good, good. So hopefully I'll wake up a princess. Sunshine princess. Yeah. Look at the colour of my teeth. <gasps> oh, what's come? It's not that big, but I think it's vacuum packed. So I'm hoping that it's fucking huge. It literally is vacuum packed. Doesn't look great so far, but mm. I'm scared to open it. I mean, it's not as big as I was expecting. It certainly doesn't feel how I thought it would. I don't know if like the really expensive ones feel like this or what, but I think it'll do. I only paid twenty quid for it. I used a hundred pounds on an Amazon voucher and then paid the other twenty. So I think it's all right. Oh, see now, look at that. I like that. I think it looks nice. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Um, I may be putting a bit too much shit in this room, but I, I like it. And then I've still, still, still got my skateboards to go up on this wall. To be fair, it's kind of bare in here. No, it's not. I don't know. Do you know what? I think it looks fucking groovy. To be honest, I'm not very happy with the colour. I thought it was going to be exactly like this beautiful bag. Um, but it's not. Ah, but anyway, I like it. I'm happy with it. Look at the state of this. Look at the state of this. I've just found in my dad's room. I came in to get the, you know, the measure for the suitcase, and I've discovered a tin of beans in his thing. I thought, what? Why would you have a tin of beans in your wardrobe, mate? That's that's his pub fund. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Oh my god! That's what a British dad thing to do. Hello. I'm all tucked in the bed. I've got all the bros. Oh, shit. All the schnauzers. <laughs> Actually, I'm in this bedroom because I can't be asked to make my bed in the morning. Because it looks so good now. Is that lazy or is that just tactical? I think it's tactical. 
bruh, it's half nine. I'm gonna have to get up at like half two to get ready. I normally go to bed at half two. Crazy, crazy. God, we've got a full day tomorrow. I'm gonna be so tired. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get up at like half two to get ready. Big job. Tonight, I am using the rest of my. I've got these like teeth whitening tube things when I was getting my teeth whitened. Um, when I went to Manchester's Dental, but I never finished the tube, so I kept it in the fridge for ages. And I know you're not supposed to do this, and I'm very sorry if there's any dentist watching, but I just can't see it being that deep. Um, what you're supposed to do is you get like a teeth mould, and you put the stuff, the gel on the front of each tooth, and that whitens your teeth. But I've put it at the front of my Invisalign, so then it's double whammy. Like I'm Invisaligning, and I'm whitening. I don't think you're supposed to do that because but i mean come on it's not gonna dissolve the plastic is it it's just ridiculous it'll be fine so i'm gonna do that for one last blast maybe make me look a bit better although i don't think we need any more contrast between the teeth and the face i'm really hoping i don't wake up too orange i might have to bring a darker foundation i've never done that before <laughs> anyway i'm gonna sit in bed and head it for a little bit. Wind on down. I'm gonna try and get an early night bath. I don't think I've ever had an early night in my life. Oh my god. Gone. 20 to 12. Two hours sleep. Two and two hours, 20 minutes sleep I'm gonna get now. Wow, I feel accomplished. Tinting my eyebrows at quarter past two in the morning. Oh wait, that's what I always do. Hello! We made it. Stressful experience. Must be one of the most stressful experiences in life. Moving house, going to the airport, having a baby, is that stressful? Yeah. Um, I think that was the least stressful airport experience ever. Shut up! I got my favourite cheer butter and some still lemon juice, which is almost my favourite. £8. This is £3. This is 5 Fucking good, but I mean that is just come on, we're in a we're in a living crisis. Does anyone want to see my outfit? I think it's pretty sick. Please tell me why this was eleven pound. It smells like ketchup, mate. Oh, we will smell bad, but I'm. Soaring through the bottom of the plate. Oh my god. They said they didn't bring this up. My tea. I'm getting vibes of what's the guy called? Is it called Taj? On the um, comply with me. Straight in the car getting. Oh my god, look at this lift. Can you tell how cram we are right now? Oh my god. Oh. Wait. Oh. Room. Room. With a view of the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> that could be Blackpool Tower, for all we know. Jake's having a wee. We're actually too. We're just. Too, I feel like. Just too tired. Too tired. Well, running on, I think Jake's running on less than one hour sleep actually. Yeah, just so tired. We had to drag ourselves up and out. We was gonna have a nap, but decided against it. So, so tired. It's not good. It's putting me off the first day. We both just want a nap. I got the moss on. This is my only full length mirror. What's that about? Birdie. Show me, look what Jake's just found. What is going on here? Oh, bloody hell. Nice. French fries. French 
best friend. <laughs> Sounds just like John the Ring, though. Mm. Sounds all different. Ready, finally got up and out of bed. Master label tonight. I actually really love this outfit. Um, a bit nervous though because I don't really want to get, we're gonna have to get on like the tube. I'm just gonna be in like dressing heels every night. Happened tonight, I feel a bit normal tonight, but oh, it's a bit much in it to get on the thing. Give me that girl stairs. I've already got fucking big gas all like a freak. Can you just look at me? <laughs> I said bonsoir before the man did. <laughs> oh, he's a tiny little shaggy dog. I'm so French. Here we are, let me do now. Oh. It's nice. That is like a fish bowl. I had to use it too long. You had to queue up, queue up outside. Uh, when you told them your reservation and wait for them to shout you, yeah. the waiter just comes out the door and goes, Big fan, big fan. I didn't even write that as my name though, so you must have found my email funny. Oh my god, my spaghetti was fucking sold out. I'm fuming it. It was called Endless Spaghetti as well, obviously not, but this looks good. Well, what a drama that was. We went to Libertino's for tea and it all looked really good. Um, Jake's pizza came and it was like this big sloppy mess. It was like a pasta pizza. It was just slop in the middle with bread around the edges. It wasn't even pick upable. Pick upable. And then mine, it tasted like bloody pig ears from Pets at Home. Uh, to be honest, I think we picked the wrong things because it did have, what is it, like cured cured ham, smoked ham, aged, mm. aged cheek in it mine had. But yeah, I think that's what gave it like the dog food taste and it smelled like dog food as well. No one wants to eat something that smells like dog food, apart from dogs. <laughs> and then, um, but mine was kind of edible. But then I felt really sorry for Jake because he hadn't eaten any of his. So I was asking and asking and asking, because Jake's the introvert. What would you say I'm an extrovert? Jake's the introvert, I'm the extrovert. I was like asking and asking, please can I tell her it wasn't nice and we want to swap it. And he won't let me for ages and he give in. So we swapped it. She took off the other one. We got a margarita, which we haven't actually touched. But I just didn't want to pay for that grossness. So I might try and eat that now. Always get your money's worth. Don't be afraid to get your money's worth, Jacob. It'd be nothing without me here. Nothing. Look oh, what I got. We went to the supermarché to make up for a poor tea, right? But we don't have a fridge, so me being clever little me. We're going on our little balcony with our crazy view of the Eiffel Tower. Oh my god, you can't. It's like it, it looks like it's been blown up. Yeah, and I got this. I got some Kinder chocolate and I got pink smiley wine. <laughs> I don't even know if it's going to taste nice, but it's smiley. Smiley wine taste test. I'll kill you, sir. It's not really smiley anymore. <laughs> <laughs> not good. <laughs> Sour. This is definitely the first holiday I've been on where I'm going to bed. In my scarf. Blow your scarf. Fucking scarf off, <laughs> In my scarf, tights and jumper. I'm fucking freezing. We don't know how to work the heater. I oh, put it back <laughs> on. We're watching Ratatouille in bed now. Phone tripod. Genius. Genius. This is what dreams are made of. Morning. We're going to leave today. We're going to leave at 12. We're just gonna mingle and we're going to the Eiffel Tower at five o'clock. Do you think there's any chance that we can go to the top? I don't know. We'll have a look, we'll have a look. But we'll currently, look. we're only on second floor. Don't know how high that up is. How high up that is. I'm just glad to have had actual sleep. I'm ready to go. Wow. The bleu de la bleu, mon bleu. <laughs> the Eiffel Tower is even more pretty in person. 
doggies everywhere. So many doggies. Now I'm not sure if these are Christmas blankets or what, but I just want a hot chalky. Great for breakfast. That is a good breakfast. Hot chucky, double chocolate breakfast. Love that. And what what have you got, Jacob? Irish coffee. Can you tell me what makes it Irish? It's about ninety percent whiskey. Ooh. Booked in at the loo for twelve o'clock. Oh my god! So we've all been in this queue that literally goes all the way down there. She see it, and then there's literally just loads of people that are just pushing in and through to the front. What is that? What is, what is that? Got a museum map in pink because I mean it's a Chinese one, but it's pink. Like if I see any oil activists, I'll fucking get the cuts. Although Jake, Jake did mention that he has a tin of Campbell's up his ass to throw at the Mona Lisa. <laughs> oh, that's me. That's Jake. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Something's not right here. <laughs> oh my god, there she is. Yeah, at least it cleaned the fingerprints off it. Stunning baby, you look fucking stunned. Look cute, might delete it later. Oh my god, there's an eyeball tower toothbrush, I want it. Why does she look so sneaky? <laughs> she does, I think she does look quite cheeky, you know. What the fuck, police on roller skates? That is so weird. Guess what? She's come to try it down the air. But they don't have no bugger. You got a little sprout bag as well. I got it took me so fucking long to get them. No one knew where they was and then she just got me a pair out the back. I got both colours because I couldn't stand to be without them any longer. Right, we're having a chin chill. Oh I've drank all my wine, fuck. And then Eiffel Tower is it at five. Wait, it's not it doesn't go dark at five, does it? I need to get into a different outfit quick. Oh my god. Oh my god. Do you know how we don't have a fridge? So I thought I'll just lean things out the window. Just went to close the window as I left. Knocked a full bottle of Coke off the edge. Oh shit, myself. I thought I'm not looking down. And I was like, to do Oh my god. Oh my god. It could have fallen on someone, which I don't, I don't think it did because I heard it. Um, and he's like, It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry. And I was like, What do you need the police are there? And he's like, It's fine. It's fine. Do you know? And we got outside. The lady at the desk was literally like cleaning and she had all of it in her hands and she's like did you throw this out the window and i was like no no i'm really sorry it it, it fell out it fell off it she said did you throw this away i'm not sure it right out the window oh god and she's like go outside and look at the window and it was just like all splashed up the window but and she's like you need to be careful like really dangerous if it fell on someone we could get in trouble i was like i'm really sorry it was an accident i'm so sorry she scared me yeah it was bad that i don't oh. like it I shut up you were laughing it hurt my heart didn't it? oh god oh god i was like i'm really new to it i need to do it do you know what it's not my fault what sort of hotel what sort of hotel doesn't have a fridge what one is secure what oh god i don't say that I feel really like, oh, I don't know, I feel upset now. I feel I'm just really upset. Um, we're going to the Eiffel Tower on a wedding night. I hope I fall off. She must think I am fitty English pig. I'm sorry, what the fuck is that? Ah, uh, here it is. The Tower of Bleu de le Bleu Mon Bleu. It's Tower of Blackpool. <laughs> Tower of Blazer. <laughs> Oh, it's getting a bit high up. I've only gone up one flight. It's so scary. I feel like I'm inside like a robot, robot's house. Oh my god, it's so scary. It's so fucking scary, dude. I'm kind of glad we didn't go to the top, to be fair. <laughs> Went to the top of the animal tower. No, not the top. Second floor and then got to cry because it's too high. Look, it's here, this is what it looks like. I'm not going to the end, it's still upsetting. There it is, the evil, evil bastard. Okay, ready? 
got this nice shiny thing on. We last minute booked Crazy Horse. Crazy Horse, we're going to Pizza Pop, Pizzeria Popolo, Pizzeria Popolo 40. But I'm worried because I think it might be the same menu as last night. Obviously, we don't like it, but then yeah, we last minute booked Crazy Horse after that. But if these girls with tits out and do it looks, it's a next flight home situation. What are you doing? No. I'll fucking kill you. What's in it, mate? Friday feeling, yeah. What day is it? It's not even Friday. <laughs> oh my god, get out of the way, man. This is what Jake does in his room. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> I agreed to this crazy ass thing. Oh my god, what is with the gaps in my teeth? I can't. I agreed to this crazy ass thing, thinking, you know, it's a load of birds frolicking about, dancing, pissing about on stage. I googled it. They've got the fucking the tips out. They're wearing Fanny Adams. They are. <laughs> it's basically a fucking free for all on stage. What could only be described as a prostitution centre is what I'm taking my boyfriend to. I've paid £110 to get mugged off. And I've got to watch him fucking flail around with the fucking jebs in the air. Not happy. <laughs> Not happy. Right, well, these are the walls. I'm done. I'm fucking done. Family rips on the floor. Jebs on the wall. Here we go then. Smiling through the chairs. On the way in, on the way in, right? <laughs> in the quote room, you have to either give them your coat or wear it. You can't have it on your lap, which only leads me to think that's so you don't do God knows what under there. Ooh. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, he loves it. Somebody literally wrote down my worst nightmare and then charged me thirty-two dollars to see it. Jake's new glue. The first place we had to look around was a shop because we were both so cold. I knew I should have brought this car, but it's really I've got three tops on every jeans. Obviously, it was obvious. Was it not? Obvious. We did our honour and then we said, and one large Cajun fries, and she said, the Cajun fries is for three people, and we said, we know. <laughs> You never say that in the UK. Oh god. They give us the wrong fries, so. Did they give us some more? Now we've got fries for days and days. That's so that means it's not scary, doesn't it? It was scary. Two big drops. Gotta look behind you. They weren't big, but they were scary. <laughs> that was too big. That needed a strap. <laughs> this is my kind of ride. Let me a big one. Ooh, stop it, stop it, stop it. This is mine. These hot chocolates are doing wonders. I barely even what have you I barely even sit to yet. I'm just holding on for a warm. Holding on for my life. 
It's so funny, I just keep seeing little girls with like big puffer coats on and a massive princess dress poking out of one. Why do I feel like crying looking at statues? Jake wants me to go on this stinky Star Wars ride. I don't like roller coasters. I actually feel like crying. I do. I do. The Pirates of the Caribbean more for kids was enough. But I just wanna know. I'm so scared. I feel bad though. Imagine going to a theme park when you like rides with someone who doesn't like any rides. I'm gonna throw up. It's over. I watched. Video. Three videos of that, one in the dark, one in the light, and it looked not too bad. Jake said it's not that bad, it went, it went upside down. It went upside down. I've never been upside down in my life. I've never been up there. And it was like pitch black. <laughs> oh god, I'm literally shaking, but I've done it. And, and I don't know. <laughs> I was holding <laughs> my head in my hands like that the whole time. I was holding my breath and I was squeezing Jake's fingers so tight. I didn't realise I was hurting him. I thought he, I thought he was shouting because of the ride, not to let go. <laughs> that second Star Wars one, that was a nice one. That was nice and easy. That was nice. We're gonna go on the rockets now, Jen and family. <laughs> That's the deal, Sparky. Can't remember what he says. All right, Sparky, here's the deal. If you want to court the little lady, you gotta be a straight shooter. Do you got it? What? Got me a hat. You ready? You ready? <coughs> You're doing it. One is, the other one is. Doing it, isn't it? I can't, my hands are too cold. Hang on. Just got on the Ratatouille ride, thank god. I really wanted to go on it. I don't even know what it does, but apparently someone said it smells like bread. So that sounds pretty tame to me. 15 minutes, 15 minutes till this park shuts. Oh my god, you get to join a giant rat. I feel like I didn't get to show you properly before, but just, oh no, oh no, look at that for mechanics. They're just onto some of that, aren't they? How did they think of doing that? I love it. Total knockout. Ready. 11, 11 make push. It's literally so late, but none of us could be asked. So we're literally. The reason I like this is because I just want the picture. Otherwise, I would have gone out in joggers. I do like the outfit though. PLT, PLT. This is in secret. And the bun. A return of the bun. I love the bun. I miss the bun. I'm going to start doing the bun. It looks alright like this. I just don't want a big chunky bun. I like a tiny bun. You know what I mean? What are you throwing at me? Uh, whoops, it was closed. So, we just went for the next one along. Quite nice, actually. 
Wow, Jake's resting on for a lamb curry. And mine looks big. Tell me the food was nice without telling me the food was nice. Ratatouille in bed with chocolate. Right, two we in bed with chocolate. Still got my big earrings in, but yeah. Guten Morgen, everybody. It's actually quite late, but I just thought, you know what? We we have dinner really late, so I'll just get up a bit late. It's all right. I always feel like on holiday you've got to make the most out of every day and get up early, but we're just night owls, so might as well just accept it. Anyway, where are we going today? What are we doing? Um, got, we really wanted to go ice skating, but I don't really know... I thought there was ice skating at the markets, but I'm not too sure about that anymore. Um, but we're definitely going to the markets, and then we've got the grill room, but later on, so another steak buzzing. But a better one. Oh, I'm excited, that's going to be, well, it better be pink. Me just fucking assuming. I had to wash the front half of my hair today, I was not happy. It literally would have been fine, because I don't even normally wash it, like, I, don't, I wash it, like, once a week, if that. So, but I wore that hat for the loop. Just made me have like greasy hair at the front for some reason. I didn't even have a sweaty hair that I just feel mugged off. So yeah, should have done hat on the last day, silly bitch. <laughs> Today I'm wearing a bralette, three long sleeve tops, a jumper, leather jacket, scarf. So annoying, they keep doing this. Back in five minutes, yeah, just lock the door, that's fine. We'll just stay in the hotel. Second time now. God, look how this tube just gets stupidly busy. I don't know why, I don't even get it, but it's so crammed every time we get on. Watch now, we'll get on and it'll just be empty. And I wanna show you. Oh look, this is a forest. I'm gonna go in here whilst hopefully it stops raining and then we got the magic. Look at that! Fucking massive! Yeah, I've never been in a, in a Sephora before, but everyone always gets really... Yeah, what was it? You sent that in things after the Water Worlds. Yeah, it did, didn't it? Yeah, I've never been in a Sephora before, but everyone always gets really moist about them, so let's see what the buzz is about. Literally walked in and straight out. It's fucking... It's just boots. It's just bloody boots. Plus, I've already got it. Still haven't managed to find the perfect thick hot chocolate, but it'll do. Jake's got some dirty beer. <laughs> <laughs> this is my second hot chocolate in 10 minutes. It's got a bit OTC there. <laughs> We're not even eating yet. Jake's really finished. Mm. See, the thing is, I'm looking for one of those really thick ones. And the first one I had was nothing like that. So I'm, I'm hoping this is, because I asked him, he said it's made with real milk, real chocolate. Bang, you're in. The other one wasn't that hot as well. Who wants a hot chocolate that's not even that hot? Oh my god. That is my worst nightmare. Oh, just watched him put, well, put all them bloody papers up there. And then he climbed up to the top. What the fuck is this? Zara Beauty. I'm on this because I feel like, you know what? These ones that I've got on are too beige. And these, these are just really nice. I just didn't want to buy these Zara ones because I do love them, but they're double the price of the Amazon ones. But you know what? They feel really nice and thick. And they match my leg warmers perfect. So I'm just going for it. And I found these really nice dress. Hang on, I'll show you when I try it on. Oh my god, I, I swear they don't have this in the UK. Why do they have weird stuff here? Here we go. I quite like it. I think it looks very house of TV. It's fun, it's cute. I like it with the beach as well. What do you think? I think changing rooms aren't fun anyway, but they're considerably less fun when you're in this many clothes. It doesn't look like much, but underneath here, I've got 14 oh, okay. tops. This is so fucking cool, right? You just put it in there. Just in there, you don't do anything. It just automatically comes on screen. Like, mwah. Mwah. And then your boyfriend just pays and then it's done. Watch this. Watch this. I literally, they should be paying me a wage. I literally work in a shop now. Come on, do it. Whoa. Does anyone at all ever remember when I said that I like, you know when you, know when you come in on holiday? I don't know, you know, and you've got teddies and the maid puts them in like cute positions. These French ones, bloody, Alice has got a bloody broken leg. Brian, I mean, sorry, Marvin is upside down. Humphrey's back to front. God knows what she's done with it. And she took all the rats off. I'm not happy. I accidentally packed five outfits when I needed six. I didn't realise, so six days, five nights. What an idiot, so I've fashioned one. 
from stuff I've already got on the top of what today. What do we think? And then I'll have the pink tights on to tie in the pink air moss. I quite like it. Yeah. I wanted this so much. I don't know why I never got it, and now I've got it. I'm really glad. Yee! I've literally got this top in every colour they sell it in. I've got black, grey, beige, cream, and now stripes. You got to though. When you find a basic you really like, you have to get them all. All of them. Ready. The dramatic dress. This is actually my Eiffel Tower dress, but we're not gonna get an Eiffel Tower picture tonight, so I'm just gonna wear it. I'm gonna have to put it on again tomorrow. God, Instagram is so fucking fake, innit? <laughs> oh, this is gonna be fun as always. Ah, gorgeous. I love the room. Right, so we are at Le Grill Room tonight. Jake's ordered the tomahawk steak, which is for two people. How much is it? 110. <laughs> He's on his own with this. I've got the fillet. Just... Princess, I always get the fillet. For fuck's sake, when you've got. It's bigger than the table. The biggest boyfriend in the world that's ordered this much that they had to put our second table. Um, oh my god, can you put your hand next to like, size reference, please? Oh, and half of it's on his plate already. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. We got takeout dessert. Oh, it's a really nice box. Takeout dessert. Let's have you. Oh, we have got a nice and fork, thank God. A little bit worse for wear. <gasps> Yours looks really good. <laughs> we are going to a place called Ellen. Ooh. Elementar for breakfast. Yeah. Oh, look at the tail of my fingers. Do you know what? It actually looks quite good. Yeah. Ignore the, the hands, but the spray tans last really well. Like, it's not creased on my um, other uh, other side of my elbows yet. Yeah, but yeah, from there, then we're going to Galleries de la Farm. I don't know what it's called. Galleries de la something. And then, I don't know. Oh, the cushion. Hello. You literally get like a 4,000 course meal. Brunch. Of course, what? Oh my god, we're already full after the pancakes. It does look really good though. Of course, number three! I can't do this! That was so much food. I'm dead. We are dead. Le Galerie Le Fat. Oh my god, so pretty. Basically, it's just a big fat sofa, really. I wouldn't say it's a must. And then the room. Busy. Look at these pens, they're absolute whoppers. This pen is no other than 17 G's. Christ! Imagine how you shopping this with that. You feel bad. Ah, oh, the first twinkly of the night. I, I personally think it should do this all night. All the damn night. Oh, it was a chilly walk. Right, I've got a new smiley wine, which I've realised. Oh, I need to drink. It's okay. What? Oh, it's okay. I need to drink all tonight, but I just, just realised it's really annoying me how they stuck that label on sideways. I also love my new email top. French, but also email. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to crack, crack into this. 
Jake's watching the sweaty football and then we're going to get ready. I'm going to have to get my Eiffel Tower picture tonight. Which unfortunately I wore my Eiffel Tower dress yesterday so I've had to change my Eiffel Tower dress to the SLA one. SLA? SLA, <laughs> yeah. Going out in full bondage. Yeah. You have to go in the middle of the road though and I'm already scared enough taking pictures. I hate it. So, but it's the last night to, to get it. Oh, last night. Oh crap. This is our last night, but we both fell asleep. No, wait. No, we didn't. We both got really tired. Jake fell asleep. Uh, and then we didn't want to go out, but we have to. We quite literally had to because we need the Eiffel Tower picture. So, what? No, it's not that late, but what time is it? Quarter to 10. We need to scram these beats that we're going out for ASAP. We're only going local, no trains tonight because everybody's tired. I'm actually so tired. Today this is a holiday. This is the most tired week. I've had bags all week. I don't, I don't really get that bad bags in my eyes, but this week I've looked like I have been strung up uh, and hung by my eyes. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, wow. <laughs> what is it? Can't eat this. I can't eat this. I actually can't eat this now. It's too much. Okay, that was naff. That was like a Chicago sound piece, so I left half of it. But you know, it did the job. For dinner. We have got 19 minutes. To, 19, that is not 90. To walk to the Eiffel Tower and get the picture with the twinkling lights. If we miss this, we'll have to come back out at 11, which obviously no one wants to do. So we have to get there. I've got heels on. Ouch. 17 minute walk. Shit. Shit. It only sparkles for five minutes. It always overestimates it. We can see it. 13 minutes. Oh god, I can't stand on this. <laughs> we're getting closer. <laughs> okay, we're in place. We're in place for crossing. <laughs> Come on, baby, give me the pick. Oh my god, we're getting there. There's a big spot open. How's it look? We did it! Literally stood in the middle of the road. Crazy. Oh, that's cool. I mean, it's not great, but we took a Polaroid. Uh, we've wasted two now. Well, I'm going to take another one just to see which. I think it needs a cloudy setting. I think it needs a cloudy That was crazy. I feel like I'm running a documentary here. How was that, Jake? You did really well. Yes, sir. No, thank you. No, oh, thank you. no, thank you. I did not want to How'd you feel? Fine, it's fun. Am I not enough excitement this week? Oh, God, I hope I got a good picture. I'm not like yet. I'm so good. But we are going to admire it one last time before because we will not see it again. But from... No, we won't see it again. Okay, let's walk up there, let's see. Go on then! Our last little sit, and we're behind this fucking tree. We're just debating what actually is romantic about this pylon. is one of the most excruciating heel pains I've ever, ever had in my life. Not not just like, you know, the toe blisters or the back of your heel, on the bottom of your foot blisters. That's from running to the Apple Tower, that is. Oh my God, unbelievable pain. I feel like Jesus just walked through Nazareth. Now it's time for the truth, time to look at the pictures and see if we actually got anyone that I like. Bye Stinky Hotel. Guten Morgen. Last day today. Um, how weird is this right? I did a dream last night that went round to my granddad Dennis, who died a few years ago, um, to his house because it was his birthday. And then I woke up and he, it's his birthday today. How weird is that? Like I've not been really been thinking about it just bizarre anyway happy birthday grand uh we're going to angelina's because that is where you get the thickest hot chocolate apparently we've just not had the thickest yet so oh yeah 
So this is the cute Angelines. <laughs> One whole hour we keep to get in. Whole hour. Me, a hot chocolate and a crepe. I'm obsessed with crepes. I need one more before I go home. Oh, thicker than Miss Minaj. Wow. Have you ever seen a fancy looking crepe in your life? There we go. That was it. That was the thick hot chocolate. It were in my teeth. I don't think that. I can't believe it was like that. I'm like, hang on. I like my teeth. That was it. That was the thick hot chocolate I wanted. Success. It was really nice, but now I feel. I could literally speak. I had a crepe as well, took it too far, but it was all really nice. It was worth it. You like your croissant, didn't you? Jake liked his croissant and he had a pan of chocolate. Oh god. Oh, I actually. Now we are going to the Arc de Triomphe. Just across from the Bleu de la Bleu Mon Bleu. <laughs> You're sick of me. <laughs> oh, well. We just got a few hours, so we thought might as well. That's the only one we got crossed off. I think. I think. I think. <sighs> Bloody gorgeous. What is it? What is it? Oh. Right. Well, that was that was five minutes knocked off our day. <laughs> We're gonna. We realised. We decided. The soup. I've got all chocolate. Oh, wow. Why didn't you tell me? We're gonna go to the Supreme Store because, well, it's only a, it's only a train ride away. We've got nothing else to do. We both like Supreme, and why not go to the Paris one? When are we gonna go again? Where is that even going from? And it was at the station and he went this one and I went get on it then he got on it the doors shut on him we was all trying to open the doors the doors went open he had to wedge himself in the thing all the doors shut and it just set off and I just put my hand on the glass like no <laughs> so I'm gonna have to get on the next one on my own oh my god I'm gonna have to be independent for once in my life all week he's been I haven't had to do a thing Jake's done everything told me where to go, where to turn, what to do, what to eat, whatever, just everything. I don't even have to think. And now I've got to think. I've got to think. <laughs> that was so funny. It was like a, a film. They did it put the Titanic music on that. That could have been off school, really. Reunited! <laughs> oh, that was a traumatic two minutes. Apparently everyone laughed at me. <laughs> I am fun. Lost my fucking brand new lightning cable. Do you know how much that hurts? Do you know how much that fucking hurts? Some fuckers either gonna pick that up, stand on it, take it or bin it. I'd rather someone take it and enjoy it. It was brand new, it was beautiful, it was nice and sturdy. I know it's quite insignificant in the grand scheme of things, but is it a brand new cable? Do we speak it? I love a new cable. For God's sake. Where is it? Way home. I forgot to end it because I fell asleep because I was so tired. The conclusion, Jake of Paris. Keep it friendly. We had a nice time. What? They're a bit rude though compared to us. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, it 
it's done now. I don't think we'll need to return. We might need, well, we can return to France, but maybe not Paris. Maybe, I don't know. It was nice, okay? Do you know what, actually? Do you know what? I literally look like shit. Look, I'm wrapped up, freezing cold in the house. I decided I'm going to end this video with, because it makes sense to put this at the end of the Paris vlog. I'm going to end it with my recommendation, my recommendations and what I thought, etc. Because then if someone wants to go to Paris and they want to think, oh, well, I'll go in Jenna's vlog and see what she liked. I'll just add it to this video. Whoa, I'm tired. It's even colder here than it is in Paris. Right, okay, so look at me. Look at me. So, what did we do? The first day. Um, so, I think the underground was a great way to get around. Obviously, a lot cheaper than Uber's. Very efficient. It's a tube in it, you know. You get them, like, every two minutes. It's fine. It's a good way of getting around. It's good. Um, easy to follow. I say that. Jay did it all. What was good? Disneyland was lovely. Obviously, if you know Disneyland... It is just fucking shops everywhere. It is better if you've got kids. And if you don't like rides, like me, it was great. It was lovely. I loved it. But obviously, I'd say it's more for kids, people that like rides. Uh, but I'm so glad I went. Um, pizzeria, pop all there. Really like that. The truffle pasta. If you like truffle, fuck off. Then I definitely suggest that. And then I got the big balls. <laughs> big balls? <laughs> big meatballs thing that was really nice the stuff there yeah lovely first night we went to libertino's that was a really nice restaurant and we both didn't like our meals but i don't want to slag it off because i do just think that we ordered the wrong thing so i would go back there nice drinks and all the, everyone else's food looked really nice so i would actually go back there so that's libertino's pizzeria popular if you like steak the grill room was really nice Although I would say Jake's tomahawk, I wouldn't bother with that personally. I thought it was chewy and awful and mine was this beautiful soft fillet. Perfect. We went to Birdie for a burger that was around the corner from us. So we stayed in, what's it called? Champ du Mar? Don't know. We stayed near the Eiffel Tower and there's a little burger place called Birdie. That was so nice. The burger was so nice. The chips were so nice. We went there for dinner. That was great. Now, the cabaret thing, I think we all know I was very scarred by the that. I wish we didn't go. I really just wish we didn't go. Not a place that I want to take my boyfriend, and it's just, just not for me. I mean, if you're into it, you want to go, you're comfortable with it, you're happy with it, great. But personally, I just, 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 I don't even want to talk about that again. I didn't enjoy it. I hated it. I was uncomfortable. Just big big no for me absolutely just never never <sighs> the eiffel tower of course definitely go and see it get the pictures see it twinkle uh going up it it wasn't that interesting but i'm just glad that it's like ticked off my bucket list almost but it was a lot lot scarier than i thought it was i am scared of heights but not to the point where i would like you know be screaming up a ladder or something but that was a lot scarier than i ever thought it would be and we only went up to the second floor. So if you went up to the top, God knows how scary that would be. But if you're not you're not phased by heights, then yeah, do it. There's not really a lot to do up there. It's just, you know, you go up to the second floor, you go up to the first floor, you go up to the second floor. I think there's like a bar. You just look out. Or if you're me, don't look out because you're too scared. I don't know what there is to do at the top. But yeah, that's on you. That's on you if you want to do that. Angelina was probably one of my favourite parts. I would say... Obviously, if you want a hot chocolate, you're a chocolate person like me, definitely go. But there is a few of them, so maybe find, because we had an hour in the queue, so maybe find the least busy one. I don't know which one that would be, and go at the least busy time, because it does get mega, mega, mega busy. And I don't think you can book a place like that. Um, but it's definitely worth it to experience that thick hot chocolate. Although there was a lot of people that said, I think it was correct. Corette or Angelina's for, I don't know if Corette said like a different place, I don't even know what it is, but I saw that in suggestions a lot. Corette and Angelina's for a hot chocolate, so maybe that's like a different chain that would be better. I don't know, but I really like the Angelina one. 
personally and i would go there and do that again and the crepes were great croissants were great it was just it was nice it was a nice experience it was worth it uh the christmas markets were really nice there wasn't any that really stood out like personally i think the manchester markets are well, well the ones here at home are better but they're different because in france they don't start until like i think the ones we wanted to go to didn't start until later this week so maybe maybe they would be a lot nicer when they're actually like officially the official ones are open but ours start when do they start they actually start like in like november so yeah they were nice and i would go but i imagine there's better ones to go to than the one we went to where did we go to i don't know I don't know, but you'll find a better one if you want to go to the Christmas markets. We also went to the Louvre, of course, to see Mrs. Mona Lisa. What I will say about that is French people push in. That is what I've realised, actually, from being there. They just they don't do queuing over there, which is very, very frustrating when you are obviously used to queuing because we was in the queue for the Louvre. It was like a big snake in queue. So big snake queue, ticket man there, big snake queue even further to get into the actual building. And we was like really near this ticket man and a load of people just came and walked and just pushed in. Unbelievable. Anyway, if I went back to the Louvre, I definitely wouldn't go at 12 because we booked that at 12 again. Uh, I'd pick a really non-busy time to go. So I think there is, I think it's open to like nine or something. I'm sure I read somewhere. So I'd, I'd just go at a really obscure time where you can actually, if you'd like to, appreciate the art because it was really busy when we went and it was just, you know, it's annoying. Especially, I really wanted to look at the Mona Lisa, I actually did once I got the videos and shit. I realised, oh my god, I've not even looked in the eye, the fam most famous painting in the world. So I thought I'll stop for a minute and actually look at it. But you just, there's so many people around you, it's like cattle moving through an art museum. So yeah, I would go at an obscure time, so... You can enjoy it a bit better. Same goes for a lot of things, really. Uh, the galleries, um, La... F you know I call it La Fat, but I actually don't know how to say it. Galleries La Fayette. I'm not sure how you say it. That is basically just, yeah, it's a nice, fancy shopping place, but do you need to go out? Not really. Am I glad we went? Eh. Um, It's just like a big selfishes. It's just like a big, fat... I wouldn't even say it's as good as Harrods, actually. It's just like a big Selfridge Harrods thing. And that was so busy. It just wasn't... It was nothing interesting. And then there's supposed to be a great view at the top, which, the you know, it's a nice view, yeah. Um, but I don't, I don't think it was worth going that much. Um, and obviously it was rammed at the top. So, yeah, I, I wouldn't... Yeah. I wouldn't be too gutted if you missed that. There's also the catacombs thing. I don't know if that's how you say it. I don't even know what the proper name for it is. We wanted to go there, but I completely forgot about that. So, yeah, we didn't go there, but I would have quite liked to. Maybe if I ever went back, I would do that. What else? We had dinner at Elementaire. <laughs> I don't know how you say any of this stuff. Um, it was a really good brunch. It was actually a gifted one. So that was nice, but you get, you get a lot, you get a lot, and it was really nice stuff. So if you want like a fun brunch, you literally get, you get a soft drink, you get a hot drink. So I've got hot chocolate, an orange juice, and then you get like a little starting bit. So we got pancakes, and then you've got your middle bit, which is like your actual brunch bit, which is eggs benedict and like bacon on toast and then you get another bit which is like a brownie in a bowl so you get a lot you get a lot and you can add on like a mimosa if you want etc but it was it was really nice in there and the food was nice and then we went to you know the obvious stuff like god i've forgotten what its name is what's his name that's it Arc de triumph i hate saying the name so i'm like I just know someone's gonna watch and be like it's just not how you say it, mate. Yeah, we just went there to get the picture, just to look at it. We quite literally looked at it for about five minutes and then just left. Um, if you want to see landmarks, you want to appreciate it, that's nice. I feel like you've just got to do it, haven't you? You can go up that. I definitely won't be going up anything else after the Eiffel Tower experience. 
And then there is obviously Notre Dame, which we didn't go to because it's got it's got scaffolding on it at the minute, hasn't it? So no, no. Maybe when they've rebuilt it or whatever, I'll go back. But the scaffolding, no, I can see scaffolding here. That's probably a terrible way to look at it, but no, I just wasn't too interested to go there. Um, and I think that's it. I liked our hotel, you know, I liked it. The staff were a bit fucking moody, but it was Hotel Duchamp de Mars. Duchamp de Mar. You're not supposed to say the essay. Hotel Duchamp de Mar. It was it was nice, it was small, it was very French, it was pretty. I, I really liked it. It was in a really nice area. Nice, near, near a really nice street. It wasn't too expensive. Yeah, I would stay in there again. I liked it. And I think that is everything. Now, that could have been a load of senseless rambling. Uh, but hopefully it's helped someone. Or helped someone make a decision. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but you could have just skipped it anyway. So, yeah. So, we'll actually leave the blog there. Thank you very much. Au revoir.